to Kinloch's Corner. We're about to start phase two of our deck out here. I prepared this one a bit earlier. It's the framework for our sides. We want to have this either side of the deck. And what I've done is pre-stained some of the area as well. Anywhere where it's going to be touching the side of the shed, I've stained up on the top here. The same with the uh, slats that I'm going to put up. Just stained along the edges here first up. So it says you can put these straight up in here now. Once it's all secure, you don't have to worry about the finicky little stain in, in between everything. So, a bit of pre-staining always helps, good tip. So this is one, as I said, we prepared earlier. Got another one to do on the other side, so we can head across and uh, start on that one. Now the framework's all connected up. I'm gonna lay it down and start putting the slats on there, get those connected, and then we can attach it to the side of the shed and to the bottom of the deck. And after that, we'll get some stain on it. Now that Shane is done with the rails, I am going to get going on the staining. in the art studio. I am, you can see some of our artwork behind us. This is where we keep our supplies and do some of our dirtier work. 
if we don't want to mess up the kitchen. I'm working on the table. I'm going to spray paint a doily and I'm going to epoxy the top. I'll show you as I go. Should make a really nice addition to our new deck. So here's a doily that I got at, I don't know, a garage sale or an auction, who knows what. I'm going to spray paint it black. I'll do that outside because this is where I have a lot of my herbs drawing. I don't want to contaminate any of them. So, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the top of this table. I'll talk about epoxy and mixing it once I get to that step. And then I'm going to spray paint the legs black. All right, so I've cleaned and dried the table. My doily is dry. It's gonna end up in the middle just like this. Epoxy resin is something I use a lot. I've made a bunch of pyramids. I've made uh, just little decor kinds of things with it. So what you have to do is you have to order um, I get mine from Amazon and it comes in two parts. These two parts stay liquid until you actually mix them and once you mix them that's when it begins to harden. So this is the base resin and this is the curing agent. I've marked a cup so I make sure because you have to get exactly equal amounts of each item in order for it to cure properly. You also have to mix it very very well. All right, so this is one of the ways we just reuse these plastic containers. So you start with the base resin. And I'm gonna fill it up to the line. It doesn't matter how much you use as long as you get equal amounts. Okay, let's see, right up to the line. Now I'm gonna put my curing agent in, fill it up to the line again and then get it in there. This is much, thinner of a liquid so it pours way faster. So as you can see as I'm stirring you can see those streaks in there. What I'm going for is no more streaks. That's how I know I'm done. So I'm going to go mix for about five minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay I've been stirring for about five minutes and now you can see while well, you see the wake of my stick all you see is bubbles. You don't see long white streaks anymore. So that's telling me that it's done. Make sure you take care to scrape the sides and across the bottom because you don't want any residuals of either one of those two components to be left behind. Because I'm working in a workspace where we really don't care if we get anything on the floor, I'm not gonna get a ton on the floor, but uh, I don't worry too much about protecting it underneath. But if you are working in a place where you could do some damage. Make sure you protect the floor. So I start in the middle, and I'm just trying to do an even pour. It's gonna spread and it's gonna drip, but I don't want it to drip too much. I'm really just trying to fill the center section and just get a light coating around the outside. Um, from what I, from when I first showed you, I ended up doubling up on my recipe here because I realized I wasn't gonna have enough. And just go in circles all the way around. And I'm just trying to make it so that the epoxy is kind of like everywhere, but I don't really need it to be thick on this. You have about a half hour before it really starts to cure very much. So, time matters, but and you're not in a huge hurry. Okay, now that we've got the deck in here, we've got a little area in between the deck itself and the strawberry patch. So what I'm going to do, I've already put down uh, one lot of weed mat. It's only pretty crappy stuff, so I'm going to put another layer on just to give it a bit more protection from the weeds. 
we'll get to and do that and get some rocks and a bit of mulch down and see how it turns out. Southwest Missouri, summertime. Humidity is a killer. So draining. So I'm sort of throwing a blanket over the top here. Looking forward to that beer. this mulch from Susie's garden bed because uh, we laid down this crappy weed mat and of course the weeds are starting to come through so we got to lift it up and uh, put some more weed mat down anyway so while I'm lifting it up I might as well put it back in here. of the worms we get here. Pretty good, huh? Get a couple of those and we go fishing. Okay, there's the mulch all finished up in there. Throw in a couple of rocks, a little plant, a little side note. No strawberries were injured in the making of this video. And a couple of little guys down here on the go. So, good to know. Should be in a good box for that one. shopping just to get some decor we went to Goodwill spent a total of 30 bucks on all of the things you see here the wind chimes we bought at a swap meet for three bucks each a couple weeks ago these chairs we got for 20 bucks each at an auction you saw me make the table earlier today here's how it came out Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. You can see reflections, but nice and durable. It'll be really heavy. Won't blow away. Here you can see Shane put some little shelves on. So we have little knickknack or drink holders. And then his beautiful landscaping from this afternoon. I'm so tall. I'm at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so thanks for watching our fabulous deck build. We're going to enjoy some nice quiet time here in the country. Have a drink. We're certainly going to have a drink. It's been hard work. It's been enjoyable. We've had a lot of fun doing it, but now it's time to sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Good work, babe. Good work, babe. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next time. See you later.